So it's the year 2024, and with the advancement and development of science and technology, surely we have things like teleportation, flying cars, maybe even invisibility. Nah. We have virtual reality only fans, adult content, and AI-generated girlfriends. And get this, with the Apple Vision Pro, you can now watch all of this on the go. Just take a look right here. Even at a library, you'll now get access to watch your favorite actresses oiled up. <laughs> Sir. Everybody is so uncomfortable, bro. Did you guys all hear that? I'm so... I'm sorry. Now, obviously, this is just a prank, but this is just a look into the future of reality itself. We have this gentleman right here using the Apple Vision Pro while doing a set of squats. Besides the fact that you're able to ruin your attention span while you're doing your workouts, this actually works as the best form of non-medical birth control, as no woman will want to stand within 1,000 feet of you. What? A cheating. This is the most so expensive weird. mystery box in this the world. This man is world. watching a Mr. Beast video while he's watching a basketball game. Cheating, bro. Bro, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm just different. Experience like this would fry my brain. Listen to Mr. Beast in my ear while watching the game, while watching Fortnite clips, while talking to my friend. Like what? Now even at a basketball game, Twitter users will now be able to watch their favorite streamer in their deepfakes. Twitter niggas will now have no reason to have a girlfriend, bro. The incels will have no use for real women. With the holy trinity of waifu body pillows, self-pleasure dolls, and AI generated girlfriends. They might never touch grass ever again in their lives. Now we have an Apple Vision Pro user getting arrested while driving his Tesla. What could possibly be that entertaining? What a degenerate. We're getting closer and closer to Wally -E every single day. I don't want to do that. So what's up next week? If you can't fool the What? Over here. Right? I can just grab the corner, make it smaller, but then I can also make it huge. Like, look how big I can make this thing. So you mean to tell me now I can put multiple bets and multiple parlays on at the same time? I would use this advanced piece of engineering to place one parlay here, another parlay here, eventually losing all my money in order to lose my wife, lose custody of my children and my family, and get my car and house repossessed. Let's go! In his own world, bruh. He just looks straight out of a movie, bro. Where's the social awareness? Do you not realize how dumb you look? What happened to looking both ways before you cross the street, dude? We got this man um, using the Apple Vision Pro as he grocery shops. Now, this is a perfect tool if you have a girlfriend. Girlfriend, wife, whatever. They take forever to shop, I'm gonna be honest. All of my items, and it felt like a grocery simulator game. After grabbing all the items, I opened up a YouTube video to watch while I was cooking, pulled out the recipe, and I'm not gonna lie, that look, he looks fire, bro. Check back it looks like a video done. game. This was, in theory, a very simple sandwich, but it felt surprisingly overwhelming to make in spatial reality. Then why are you doing it? Take the little degen glasses off, okay? Make your little sandwich, make your food. I know you don't cook anything. I know your mom probably does your dishes, washes your clothes, cooks your food every day. I'm gonna be honest, hey, me too. And, uh, I watched a video while I ate because, you know, you have to. Society's actually finished. We have Subway Surfers IRL, man. When life gets too boring, when your teacher just can't stop yapping, just put Subway Surfers on in the background. You can just put it right next to her. We're genuinely near the end of times. Oh. It looks like a character straight out of Back to the Future. It's actually wild. See, at first glance, the Apple Vision Pro is a nice new form of technology made for efficient use and enhanced virtual reality. But there are some serious issues with it. You guys have seen the movie WALL-E. This is where we're headed, bro. We're heading to a dystopian society where everybody's just gonna be on their devices, not interacting with other humans, and everything's just gonna be so weird and awkward, okay? Gen Z already has it bad. Imagine the future generations. The iPad kids will be the virtual reality kids. Kids are already having troubles reading. You seen the teachers talk about the reading level of children being below standard? I'ma just say this. I teach seventh grade, they are still performing on the fourth grade level. Seventh grade English teacher here. When I tell you that these babies cannot read, they cannot write, and they cannot comprehend, I'm not being funny. I'm being dead serious. It, it doesn't exist. It took us four weeks to get through how to answer a question in a complete sentence. This isn't a new concept, bro. And it's only going to get worse. I'm going to be the one to say it, bro. One day, you're going to wake up with everything eviscerated. Dull, brown, and obliterated. And right now, I'm describing the aftermath of a nuclear fallout. And that's where we're headed after things like the Apple Vision Pro, bro. Me, personally, I'd probably just use it for gaming or something like that, you know? Now, am I a hater? Absolutely, yes. Am I mad that I just can't afford that shit? Yes, it's $3,500, nigga. You think I can pay for that? No, I can't. $3,500 and more for a big ass pair of women repellent. Yeah, sign me up. I need that. There are other inventions such as the cyber truck. That shit looks actually crazy cool if you ask me. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Elon Musk was low-key cooking on that one. The Neuralink where they're literally putting chips into people's brains. Yeah, I'm a good. And then Elon Musk is literally sending niggas to space as we speak. They're just something we don't know about the world, bro. Next up, we got AI deepfakes. Now, here's an example of a fake picture that Twitter users are making of the streamer known as Pokimane. That's her face. They put it on some random person's body. Like, this shit is hella weird, bro. And I seen a video of some dude saying that he actually beat off 
enough to just shit. And he was a streamer himself. Let me just show you guys, bro. Especially women on Twitch to feel safer. Like, I, we don't tolerate any sex behavior in the chat. Oh, we, we ban it on site. You know, I've been, I've been watching so much fucking, I've been reading so much fucking AI stuff. And I'm in these fucking discords. It's still so embarrassing to me. But I was on fucking Pornhub, dude. I was on a fucking <laughs> regular ass normal fucking website. And there was an ad. There's an ad on every fucking video for this fucking. So I know other people must be clicking it. There's no way on God's green earth this man is crying over a Pornhub advertisement. You're a grown man. This man exposed himself for watching deep fakes of Pokemon on his second monitor. Let's be real here, bro. Save the tears. Save your wife crying in the background. Actually, I don't even know why your wife is still with you, bro. This is just damage control. The man is only crying like this because he got caught. Now, the whole saga ends with this man now being a superhero as he's working to take down all deep fakes online and exposing these websites. Now, AI generated content has gotten so far that laws are actually being put in place to protect people from AI itself. For example, right here, we have an AI generated image of Taylor Swift covered in a uh, horseshit. This is a gross invasion of my rights and dignity. Whoever is behind this will face the full force of the law. Hmm, let me ask who, who cares? Joe Biden cares, that's who. Got that right, baby. <laughs> we won't let them have even one wank thinking of it. If you elect me, I would let all the wankers wank. Besides the weird shit, this is actually kind of funny. Bro, I'm gonna have to blur this one, but um, this is Taylor Swift with a World War One German logo on her arm. I'll just say that. Now, this has gotten so bad that a Missouri lawmaker introduced a new bill known as the Taylor Swift Act, which intends to offer legal safeguards against AI deepfake violations. I don't know what you gain from this. Does this satisfy your weirdo fetishes? An Asian ice spice? Really? They call it her rice spice. Now, not only can you make deepfakes with these AIs, you can actually make fake Pixar films. A couple examples of this is right here, Disney Pixar stuffed. Getting over it, which is a um, man in a sombrero jumping over a wall. We have coal miners. I'm not going to say the title of this one. Let's just say this is a very infamous German man, and he committed a lot of uh, atrocities. Is this what I think it means? Bukaki is a sex act, which which one participant is ejaculated on by multiple participants. She's the participant, and these are the niggas that's going... Asian driving school. Oh, nah. You cross the line with this one, bro. You ain't have to come for me, my people. Don't let this happen again. Bro, I unironically can't even drive myself. I don't even have a license, and I'm 20 years old. Bro. Nah. But right here we got the autobiography of Jeffrey Epstein. Dinner? What do we do to deserve this? Let's be real. Some of us would watch these movies. They're actually kind of interesting. Now, last on the agenda is surgeries. We can't end the video without talking about these weirdo surgeries that are coming up. Y'all have heard of the BBL, Brazilian butt lift, but have you heard of the DDL, the Dominican dick lift? Yeah. Nowadays, people are getting penis enlargement surgeries, and Dr. Miami confirmed himself that these are actually real. This is the tweet right here. It says, yes, penis enlargement surgery exists. They say Drake is the one who got this, and it only makes sense. Pause. We already saw a height enlargement surgery where a dude who was like 5'3 ended up extending himself to 6 foot. We need to love ourselves, okay? What happened to self-love? We need to be happy with our God-given bodies. Add against subtracting different biological features, it's only room for more health problems. Don't be surprised when you see extra health complications when you go down the road, bro. The first person to get a DDL, don't be surprised if your meat falls off, falls off the bone like some pulled pork. Real talk. In conclusion, technology is getting weird, okay? We're heading down a dark and mysterious path. I know you guys have seen the articles of those billionaires building bunkers, and you wonder why? Well, this is why. We might be finished. The end might be nearer than we think. All of us low class, because, you know, we broke out here, <laughs> are going to be the first ones to see the repercussions of our issues. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Like the video, subscribe. I need views. Check out the links in the description. Follow the Instagram. Join the Discord. We don't got too many people yet, but uh, we're going to build a community. Facts. Appreciate y'all for sticking to the end of the video. Uh, let me know what you want to see next. With that being said, it's love, hello. I love you, and I'm out.